Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Francisco, and today we're diving into something that's both fun and functional. Customizing your iPhone clock font to fit your unique style. With the release of iOS 18, users have been looking to try fantastic new features like changing the clock font to make their devices unique. So if you love keeping up with the latest iOS tips and tricks, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's get started. Part 1. How to change clock fonts on iPhone So before we dive into customizing the clock fonts on your iPhone, it's crucial to ensure that your device is running the latest iOS 18 version. Now, this update unlocks all the new customization options, including all the new changes available for your clock font. So we're going to walk you through first how to update to iOS 18. So to start, let's make sure your iPhone is up to date with iOS 18. Updating your iPhone is easy, and it only takes a few minutes if you were to follow these detailed steps. After ensuring your iOS device is connected to the stable internet. Access phone settings to approach the general settings. Within these settings, press software update. And on the following screen, you will find out if an update is available. Now tap update now. If a new iOS 18 update is available and wait for it to install. During the process, ensure stable internet and adequate battery to avoid unforeseen effects. Next up is how to change clock fonts on iPhone. With iOS 18 installed, changing the clock fonts on your lock screen is a breeze. There are a couple of ways to do that. And first, we will discuss how you can do it directly from your lock screen. All you have to do is just wake your device by tapping on the lock screen and utilizing face ID or passcode. But don't scroll past the lock screen. Now tap and hold the screen on an empty space and choose customize when the option appears. And now you're going to have the choice to select between two screens and opt for lock screen. On the screen, tap the lock or time and you will access the font and color menu for the clock. Here you can choose the font style, thickness, color, and design to satisfy your preferences. After you curated the clock to your taste, press done to save the changes. Next up is just how to change the clock font on iPhone from your settings. So if you prefer making changes through the settings app, you can also adjust the clock font from there. This method is straightforward and gives you the comfort of changing the clock font in a more familiar environment through the following steps. As you access settings on your iPhone, just scroll down to select the wallpaper option. On the subsequent screen, press customize on the small screen, which is showing the clock. Next, tap the clock to access the font and color settings to customize it. You can customize the clock to your liking by selecting the font style, adjusting the thickness, and selecting the color or design. Last simply press the done button to save your changes. Part 2. How to change the size of your clock on iPhone. Now that you've customized your clock font, you might want to take it a step further by adjusting the size of your clock. You can enlarge the display of your clock in iOS 18 to fit your style by following these straightforward instructions. Within the settings of your mobile phone, navigate to open the display and brightness settings. Now press display zoom from near the bottom of the next screen to access zoom options. To enlarge your clock font, select larger text and tap done from the upper right corner. Finalize your choice by tapping use zoom and all the screen text, including the clock font will be enlarged. And here's a bonus, how to bypass iPhone screen lock when you forget the passcode. There are no two opinions on the fact that forgetting your iPhone passcode can be frustrating, especially when you're locked out of your device and unable to access anything. There's a reliable solution that can help you bypass the screen lock and regain access to your iPhone quickly and securely. Wondershare Doctor Phone is a comprehensive toolkit designed to address a wide range of iOS issues including forgotten passcodes. Dr. Phone's screen unlock feature is a lifesaver when you're locked out of your device. Whether you're dealing with a standard passcode, face ID, or touch ID lock, Wondershare Dr. Phone can help you remove the screen lock. Moreover, you can use this tool to downgrade or upgrade the iOS version without jailbreaking. You can also bypass Apple ID and iCloud activation lock with it. Now, let's go through the step-by-step -step process to unlock your iPhone through Dr. Phone. Start by installing and opening Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer from the main menu. Select the screen unlock option. After connecting your iPhone to the computer, choose iOS as your device and click on the unlock iOS screen button to proceed. To proceed further, click start and carefully follow the on-screen steps to enter recovery mode on your iPhone. Once in recovery mode, you will need to choose the appropriate system version for the firmware downloading after the program detects your iOS device mode. When done, click start again and let the process finish. Once the firmware download is complete, it will undergo verification before becoming accessible. To proceed, click unlock now and after entering the necessary code, tap 
unlock to confirm the warning prompt. As soon as you do that, Wondershare Dr. Phone will start unlocking your iPhone, a process that may just take a few minutes. Once the unlocking is complete, simply tap done to finalize the procedure. And that wraps up our guide on how to fully customize your iPhone's clock from changing the font and size to bypassing the screen lock if you ever forget your passcode. With iOS 18, Apple has made it easier than ever to personalize your device and make it truly yours. So when you face serious issues like screen lock or system errors, using tools like Wondershare Dr. Phone can save you some time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and solutions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.